Brothers and sisters of the Celestial Energy, this is Brother Wisdom, what's going on, guys? I went on the YouTube uh, community uh, posting and posted about baby kids. And uh, myself and a, and a brother at the workplace, you know, uh, had a really, really big discussion. And, um, you know, I was telling, you know, we were talking about baby kids and, and, how the movie was so significant, but because at the time we were looking so much at the entertainment in it and laughing that we could not see the message that was being put out. Now you see Bebe left her children. It, you know, this is done by brother Robin, Robin Harris, you know, you know, mother nature rest his soul, you know, they did the brother wrong just like a lot of our people. But, you know, Bebe sent $20, all right, to have the three of them go to this amusement park, all right, with Robin and his girlfriend and her son. Now, you know, everything is numerical value, 20 twenty dollars two which is a symbol of angelic energy three is the symbol of Trinity but it was four children at all so four which uh, represents perfection and the youngest was the smartest who was the baby but in this in this thing here with baby kids it was showing us that you had this uh, 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 Robert Harris girlfriend I forget the girlfriend name or the friend girl whoever she was her son was representation of our brothers and sisters who were caught up in the system you know oh you got to do this you got to pay your taxes you got to do that you know you got to do it the way the law says Oh, if the police get behind you, you got to do this. You know, uh, if, if they take you to court, you got to do this. You got to pay this. This is this is what they were. Baby kids represented those who were free hearted, who didn't give a damn about nothing. And they were trying to tell him, you know, because they were picking on him. He was like, you know, you're going you gonna to do such, such, such. You're going to do this and do that. You know, they were picking on him because... He was so close-minded. How many brothers and sisters you know out there are actually close-minded? You know, how many brothers and sisters you know who are actually um, sitting up, waiting for the system instead of being a free heart and a free mind, focusing on how to free myself? Very few that you know. That you can count on your hand, but you can, it, it's a whole lot more who were caught up in the system. So, baby kids was the children, and we, and and who were like, we're gonna have a free heart, we have a free mind, and their energy was so great that the orc beings or the so-called white people in this in this movie were scared of them, and they feared their energy. And they finally woke the young brother up. And he finally realized that he didn't have to be um, a part of the system. He didn't have to link into the system. He, didn't, he, he finally realized that I can be free. I don't have to go to school. I don't have to uh, 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 wear a suit. I can, I can wear my locks. I can do what I wanna do. I can build what I wanna build. So, in the essence of the movie, the energy got so high, and they started doing whatever they wanted to do, and they started fucking that amusement park up, and that amusement park was a representation of this whole governmental structure, because it's just an amusement park. That's all it is. It's not real. It's just an amusement park. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a, 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 a game. It's, it's all a fantasy. It's all it is. So they ended up exerting so much energy that even 
this white police officer began running from them. These were children. They were nothing but children, but the children represented the energy, the power, showing us how much power that we actually have when we have a free mind and a free heart. And they literally brought that amusement park, that colossal, huge amusement park down to the ground. And this is where we are, so, are, are, are going. We are going this, in this route, okay? We're moving in this route because now we're saying, you know, we gotta have a free mind, we gotta have a free heart. My people say we tired of this shit. You know, so saw so brother at the gas station, he's like, you know, I'm, my day has just started, but I don't wanna start it. I could be doing something else. And the thing about it is we could be building, we can be creating. I was watching a, a video of uh, how to build pyramids from bricks. And I'm like, we can do this. We can start building pyramids from bricks and we can build huge pyramids from bricks and we can put crystals and all kind of other things into them. We can really, really do this. Because we gotta have a free heart and a free mind. We have been through too much pain and suffering. We have gone through 500 years of genocide. These beings doing whatever they want to do to us on our planet. They telling us what we can do, what we can't do, when we can move, when we can walk, how, how we can talk. They telling us and they're on our planet. They own our land. We have to be baby kids. We got to be free. And say, you know what? I don't care. I don't care nothing about you. I don't care nothing about your system. Let's turn this car upside down. Let's chase this police officer down and beat the fuck out of his ass. Show him how much power he got. They don't have no power. See, what they've, what they've caused upon us is a mental contusion. When you say a contusion, a contusion is a bruise. So they call they they mentally bruised us and caused us to fall from something that was so powerful. And they want us to live under the likes of them. They want us to continuously take the, the mess from them, them spraying the skies and creating winter time and we going running out buying coats and shoes and boots and, and you know they want us to continually be victims to their system. They don't want us to wake up. They don't want us to see the reality that we're supposed to be a free mind and a free heart. That's what made us so powerful. It's because we had a free mind and a free heart. So they had to force upon us something that was not real I just had a deja vu uh, 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 occurrence so I, I, I was saw myself talking doing the same speech but I couldn't remember where I saw it at but I saw myself I had to be in the astronaut or something but they want to control our, our, our entire livelihood and we can't let them do it. We can't. We have to become the children. And you see, that's why I, that's why I like baby kids. Because they were just free. They were just free. And like we said, these work beings, they fear. Their greatest fear of us is a free heart. Their greatest fear is an unlearned heart. And when we talk about unlearned heart, we talk about those who are not learned in the system and the baby kids, they were unlearned in the system. They didn't care about the police. They didn't care about that. You had this police officer with a gun on his hip and a badge, and he was running from these four children who were literally wreaking havoc in their little la-la land that they created. They tore that thing down. They really, they brought that amusement park to the ground. 
And this is where we must be. So we got war. We've got a reason to war. And we got and we're letting them know that hey, you can't turn us against ourselves anymore. There's many of our people who who have worked against their own. We're starting to see that many of them are turning around. Brother Jerome, I got your message too, brother. Hey, my apologies too. All right, my apologies too. We're going to come together one day, the two of us and the rest of the brothers and sisters, because um, we got a lot of work to do. First, we got to prepare our hearts for this inevitable war so that we can go ahead and take back what belongs to us. But yeah, this is, and this is what they fear. They fear a free heart. They fear a, 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 a soul that knows who is she, he or she is. And all these lessons that we have learned, dark energy, worshiping yourself, uh, the light energy, the, the radiation, the magnetism, the, 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 the powers that's within us, the, 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 the ability to control the forces. I mean, all this stuff that we've learned must apply it every day and we must apply it and put it to the test and see that once I link it to myself and there's no more fear because that's what the baby's kids didn't have they didn't have fear there was no fear in their hearts they didn't they didn't care and this is where we gotta be I don't care about your system I don't care about your money just like I said, I like I, I, I like the Joker. Why the Joker? He went and broke into the bank and he took all those millions of dollars. He didn't want the millions of dollars for himself. He burnt the shit. He burned it because he says, I don't need it. He says, you guys are crazy. You are crazy. And these this whole system is crazy. They're idiots. And a lot of our people, you know, like we said before, they're 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 following after the system and they keep doing the same thing over and over again, hoping for different results. But what did the baby kids do? They didn't do the same thing. They were doing different things. Every time you turn around, they was doing something. They was tearing something up. And it's like, I don't care. It's not mine. This is how we need to be. It's not my system. Why the fuck should I care? Why the fuck should I care? Why should I care if they if, if, if that building burns down? Oh, let me put it on fire for them. Why should I care? So many of our people are stuck in that mindset that, oh, you know, you gotta care for this right here because, you know, we need the money for this and that. We don't need a not we don't need a goddamn thing for these motherfuckers. We don't need no reparations. I saw something about some reparations or whatever. And I'm like. Me and the brother was talking. I said, I said, there is no amount of money that these beings can give us to repair because reparations is repair rations. That's all reparations is, is repair rations. So you, we, you giving us rations of money to repair something. There is no money on the planet that you can give us to repair the damage that you guys did to our people, wiping out entire generations. When we say entire generations, we mean there are generations right now that were on the realm, or that, are, that were here on our realm, within our realm, that are, not, that are no longer here. The entire bloodline has been destroyed whole generations gone mother father sister brother grandmother grandfather uncle aunt cousin whole generations are gone there is no amount of money that you could possibly give that you org beings could possibly give to replace the bloodlines that were completely wiped off the planet 
There's no money. There's no money to give to replace all the trees that you destroyed, all the rivers and the lakes that you destroyed. All the fruit that you destroyed. And the thing about it is even our ancient fruit, they have our ancient fruit, the seeds of our ancient fruit boxed away somewhere at some seed uh, 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 distribution or some seed uh, 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 holding place. Well, they have all of our seeds. And I think it was like three different areas. And one of them got one or either one or two of them got flooded out. And I think they have one left. Well, they have all of our seeds. So there's no amount of money that you can possibly pay us to replace all the gold on our land that you've stolen. The diamonds, the, 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 the precious gems that we use for technology. We didn't use them to hoard them. That was just a um that was just a meteor strike that happened in Brazil a few days ago. And some pretty large, large sized meteors, it's like a few hundred of them landed. And you guys can look it up and, and follow it up on yourself. But a few of them, a few, uh, 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 hundred, several hundred of them landed. And this or government hears about it. And the Brazilians allowed this. And. They ran down there and they put a price on the meteors. This is what they do. This is how low they are. They go and put a price on the meteors. You got something that came from the cosmos for the original people. The shit belongs to us. Whatever comes from the cosmos on this planet belongs to us. This is why we got to get ready and be the fucking baby kids and fuck this shit up and take back what belongs to us and not give a damn about nothing. They put a price. They said, oh, this is worth $26,000. So if you got $26,000, you can have this one big stone. I mean, these are nice size. These are nice size medias that I, that, 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 that I saw on the, on, on, on the, uh, the, the, the thing I was reading. You look it up. The media strike that happened in Brazil. And these org banks put a price on it. $26,000 per meteor. Because this is what they do. They know nothing else but to put prices on things. And our people have got this notion that, well, you got a price on it. We can do it. No, we got to be the baby kids. And the baby kids knows who the enemies are. The baby kids know these orc beings are the enemies. Some of our people today don't know the enemies. They have that time. Oh, you can vote for Trump. You can vote for Biden. You can vote for Harris. Guess what? Trump, Biden, and Harris, they're all pedophiles. Huh? They're all pedophiles. Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, Michael Jordan. They're all pedophiles. Oprah, Ellen. All of them, they're all pedophiles. So the thing about it is we have an enemy among us and we have to be the baby kids and we just have to not give a fucking damn and have a free heart and a free mind and just fuck they shit up and fuck them up also because they got to answer. Their entire species has got to an answer for the, what their forefathers did. And their forefathers did a great disservice to us. A great, great disservice. And we've got to bring the vengeance. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Who's the Lord? We are the Lords. We are the landlords. We own this planet. We so-called black people are the owners of this planet. And very soon, we're going to have to show our true ownership. Because we're going to have to become the baby kids and we're going to destroy everything that they created and bring this whole goddamn amusement park that they created to the fucking ground. Don't give a damn about the 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 teddy bears and and the little whatever else, you know, that and the teddy bears and all that represents the money and the cars and the job positions and all that. Don't give a fuck about none of this shit and just tear the motherfucking shit to pieces. That's what we got to do. We got to become the baby kids. 
and say, you know what? It's over. It's over. Anybody who wants to depart and 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 say, I don't want to do that. You hold your hands up. You say, you trying to? It ain't time to go yet. What you trying to leave us? Uh uh-uh. uh. You joining in with us because you're a part of this. Yeah, we got to become the baby kids and not give a fuck at all. All right, guys. Let's love motivation because uh, we're gonna have we 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 getting ready for war. You can and these orb beings can feel this shit in the air. They can feel it in the air. You feel it in the atmosphere. It's all over. The tension is high because we're ready to get rid of them. No more negotiations, no mercy, no nothing. And we're going in and we're going in here first. And like one the brother was saying, he said, he said, you know what? How how are we gonna get the heads of them? I say, how you how do you how you think you get the heads? When you start cutting the tails off. Them head, that head going to turn around. You cut the tail of the snake off, that head going to turn around. That's when you get the head. Because now he's weak. Because he don't have anyone to fight for them. Their tail is your, their regular people, the police, the FBI, all that shit. Fuck them motherfuckers up. Show the true power of who we are. We're nature's children. And all those who are who are uh, 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 confined in the system, we wake their ass up to and really let them know. Slap the fuck out of them. Let them know. Hey, wake your ass up, motherfucker. Wake up. Wake up. You've been asleep too long. Let's go to war. Because we've been through too much. All right, guys. Pass this message on to you. Let's become the baby kids. Let's not give a fuck. <laughs> That's on 100. All right. Peace to you all. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say peace to you all? Oh, I must be tired. But you know what? Inner peace for you guys. You got to have inner peace because in order to have chaos, you must have inner peace. You got to have inner peace in order to show chaos. Tornado has inner peace. The most peaceful part of the tornado is inside of it. But on the outside of it is complete, pure chaos so you gotta have inner peace so i'll say inner peace to you all but as usual chaos chaos we bring chaos to this entire planet global chaos all power to the multi-chakra celestial angelic beings chaos to you